A zero trust approach for network security is a must to block unnecessary connections between pods, services and apps. But when your traditional applications move to Kubernetes, you become blind to how your apps are communicating. Where do you start? The dynamic nature of Kubernetes makes static IP addresses obsolete and container firewalls are a man in the middle approach. They introduce complexity with IP tables not managed by Kubernetes. However, a Kubernetes native approach to network security, like Kubernetes network policies, will stay in sync with Kubernetes updates. And as an open source security standard, it will be portable. Now let's see how Sysdig gives you security with deep network visibility. Hello everyone, my name is Pavan and I have Mateo here with me. Hi Mateo. Hello. So how does Sysdig provide that deep network visibility inside Kubernetes? Let's first start with a cluster. What you're seeing here is what your current communication might look like, which is just a bunch of containers talking to another bunch of containers. Now what Sysdig does that's unique is that we identify the network communication between containers based on the syscall events, and then automatically tag the containers based on the metadata that we collect. And this is unique where now you don't have to manually group those containers based on image name, tags, and other criteria, but we automatically tag those containers and map that communication flow based on the labels that we adjust. And this ultimately gives you a dynamic network topology map so that you can visualize all that communication inside your Kubernetes cluster. And this deep visibility now becomes the foundation for the strong network security in Kubernetes that we provide. Okay, so now let's look at a live example. Just looking at the communications from the CSDK agent, we can build automatically a microservice to microservice topology map where you can pick the, the time in the past that you want to look at of uh, past communications that are already pre-computed for you and aggregated into these Kubernetes entities. There is also a tabular view where you can see each one of the communications with a little bit more detail uh, that we are going to use to fine tune the policy. There are also some communications that cannot be resolved to Kubernetes entities. For example, if you are contacting an external IP, there is no way that you can map that to a Kubernetes entity, right? Inside this feature, we are able to categorize those IPs as internal or external. So you can have a better picture of what is really happening in your cluster. So as you can see, this is how we provide Kubernetes native visibility into your microservices to microservices communications. Okay, so now let's look at how you can apply Kubernetes native network segmentation. What we've just talked about is how you get that visibility. Next, what we do is automatically create those least privileged policies based on the traffic and the metadata. And here, your developers and your DevOps teams don't have to waste time iterating and creating the right policy from scratch. Uh, the developer a lot of times has the application knowledge so they can use a simple interface to modify the network policy and apply that application knowledge. Once that's done, then it goes over to the DevOps team who can then confirm the policy changes and apply the network segmentation easily within minutes. The next step becomes we automatically generate that Kubernetes network policy and allow you to apply it directly via the CNI like Calico. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's no approach to interfere with the infrastructure. We're using the native controls to apply the segmentation inside your cluster. So let's see how the workflow that Pavan described works in practice, right? So let's assume that I'm the developer of this application. So I can see the ingress, the J client is communicating with my application, which is perfectly fine. The SysDig uh, policy generator is automatically forbidding this IP for me. And looking at the different services that my application is communicating with, I know that we deprecated Cassandra in a former version, so I don't need this communication anymore. Okay, let's make these changes to the default policy that uh, the SysDig interface is offering me. The interface is not just going to just throw a YAML at me, right? I can just go through this visual process where I can see the individual communications. Then I, I say, OK, this particular IP is something that I need, so I'm going to allow it. The Cassandra, this Cassandra communication is something that I don't need anymore, so I'm going to not allow it. OK, and that is another important point. 
This is this communication is allow only, which is the most secure approach, which means that if there is a new process or a new entity that is trying to communicate with my applications, it's not going to have permissions to talk with my application. Okay, let's look at the topology map again, because this will be dynamically updated for me. So I can see that this looks now how I want it to look. So the external IP is allowed. The communication with Cassandra is not allowed anymore. So this is the policy that I wanted to build, right? And you may be wondering, where is the Kubernetes network policy? Where is the YAML? So the answer is that you can just click here and it will get automatically generated for you. I don't even need to have previous knowledge about this specific language or how to configure a Kubernetes network policy from scratch. Now I can download this, this uh, policy and apply it on my cluster. Let's say that I use Calico or OpenSieve OBS and it will be the Kubernetes control plane enforcing this policy. There is no Cirdic software gating the connections or directly tampering with IP tables or the cluster communications. It's clean and it's native. Cystic Secure offers deep network visibility, network segmentation that is Kubernetes native and is DevOps ready, with an easy button to automate Kubernetes network policies. With the Cystic platform, you can confidently run containers and Kubernetes by securing the build pipeline, detecting and responding to runtime threats, continuously validating compliance, and monitoring containers and Kubernetes. Try the Cystic Secure DevOps platform today.